Hello people, uh, this is a video to show you how to use a 3D viewer plugin feature in uh, ImageJ and Fiji. Uh, so you could get a 3D image out of it and uh, turn it into a video and put it in your PowerPoint. So uh, over here for Mac user, uh, the 3D viewer is actually not working. Um, at in uh, image j so you need to download a thing called uh, fiji instead of image j and this one actually do have a plugin and it's uh, for the 3d viewer so what you're doing is that um, so first you need you after you get the file from uh, the laser confocal microscope your fluorescent image you would see that there is actually a whole bunch of image over here uh, what you need to do, uh, first you need to open it, so you want to do that, you go over here and then you actually drag the whole folder and open it so it's gonna ask you if you wanna do those or those or if you wanna open a stat and then click yes so once it's opened, the first thing you need to do is that um, you go to image, you go to hyperstack, and then you do stack to hyperstack. And then this, this window is going to be jumping out, and then the order needs to be the last one, X, Y, T, Z, C. And for the channel slide and frame, uh, you open your folder, and then you look at the last image you took, which is C, for me, is C003, Z082. So your channel, you have three channels, so three different color, and then your slide is AD2, and then frame is one, and then the display mode should be color, and you click OK, and after that, what you need to do is that uh, you go to image, and then you go to color, and then you go to channels two. Once it's open, you go color, and then the channel 1 should be red, channel 2 should be green, and channel 3 should be blue. After you finish all this, you go to compose, and then you click more, and then you do make composition. So you should be able to get three color. So yeah, so I have red uh green uh, it's not very clear but you do see three different color over here and next thing you need to do is uh go to image and then you go to properties and this thing gonna jump out so the channel size and frame uh, we already corrected before and then you have, can have this note you say that must equal to 246 so uh, yeah the frame is actually one and then you need to change the vo vortex depth to one because this is the uh, one I took before and then you click OK and then next thing you need to do is just you click plugin and then you go to 3D viewer so this window gonna be jumping out and asking you give all of those numbers over here if you want to display it as a volume or you want to display it as something else so for me i just need the volume and then you click ok so and then you will be able to get this uh 3d image so my uh, sample is pretty flat but anyway that's how you do it and how you use the 3D viewer plugin. Uh, then if you want to save it as a video, you go to view and then you do record uh, 360 degree rotation. And then it's gonna create a movie. Then you can save it, go to file and then go to save as AVI. I'll do this. And then you do 7 frames per second. 
click OK, and then you can go to desktop and then save, replace. And then you have a and then you will have this movie. So same frame per second is probably a little bit slow. But I think it's better than fast. So yeah, so this is how you use Fiji uh to make a 3D image and make it into a video.